everyone, it's Helen here. As the holiday season is around the corner, today I would like to share with you a recipe that can help you digest all the heavy food you're gonna have during these upcoming festive days. This is a simple recipe that my family has been using for years with a 100% chance of success. It's called pickled mustard greens or yu cai chua. It's a lovely crunchy and tart and it's perfect to pair with almost any rich and savory dishes. There's so many things you can do with it. You can stew with fish, pork, stir fry with eggs, make soup or curry with it, or just simply serve it plain with a bowl of fish sauce. This delicious mustard greens is a must-have around Lunar New Year or Tết in many Vietnamese families. And it's very easy to make, but if you miss out a few details, it could end up being soggy and never pickled. The goal is to have a mustard greens that turn light yellow and crunchy. Helen's recipes. There are actually quite a few types of mustard greens. The one you should use to make yu cai chua is this one with sturdy and large stems which makes a really crispy and tasty pickles. Leave it on the counter under the sun until wilted and this helps draw out the moisture in the leaves making it more crunchy when pickled. If you live in a cold climate, you can leave it on the kitchen counter or near the heater overnight. Do not make pickles with the greens right out of the fridge because that will lead to really slimy pickles. To prepare, cut off the ends of the mustard greens and discard and trim the parts that are bruised, yellow or eaten by butts. Cut into 2 inch lengths and rinse well a few times to get rid of all the dust. Next, bring a pot of water to a rolling boil in a medium saucepan. Then turn off the heat and wait for all the bubbles to stop. And then add the mustard greens and make sure that they are fully submerged in the water. You can use a small plate to place on top to weigh down. Just make sure that the plate do not cover the pot completely as we need the steam to escape. Leave it there for 4 hours or overnight. Wash the jar really well with soap and water and sterilize again with hot water. While it's very important to avoid any type of contamination, make sure that the utensil and the pot are all clean and also the pickling jar. Any type of unwanted oil or grease will cause the green not to pickle properly. The glass jar is ideal for pickling. Next, thinly slice the shallot. You can also use onion and chop up the scallion. To make the brine, bring a saucepan of water, about 6 cups, to a boil, and then add salt and sugar. Stir to dissolve and cool down completely. After soaking overnight, the mustard green changed the color to light yellow and release really strong mustard smell. Drain and squeeze off all the excess water. Combine with the shallots and scallion and put into the jar. Then pour the brine into the jar covering the mustard greens and use two bamboo skewers to push down the greens to make sure that it is fully submerged in the brine. Cover the lid and leave to pickle for 3 to 6 days. If your jar has a metal lid, cover the jar first with plastic wrap and then uh, place the lid to seal. This fermentation process can be speeded up by sun drying. So where possible, place the jar in a sunny location. After three days, you can use a chopstick to take out a piece and have a taste. If it's nicely sour and tart, it's ready to serve. If it's already too sour, you can stop the pickling process, drain the liquid and refrigerate the mustard greens. Once refrigerated, enjoy the greens within the month. I hope you learned a few more useful tips and tricks to make the pickle mustard greens through this video. If you give it a try, please uh, keep me updated and also share a photo on Instagram with hashtag Highland Recipes. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and click on the bell button so you will be notified on your phone when my next video is published. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.